Namaste. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to start right away. We're going to make sure that our feet are right underneath our hip points. And once that we have checked that out, we're going to take a deep breath in. And we're going to bring both hands that are going to meet on top of my head. We're going to go back a little bit with our back and chin stays close to the chest from here hands come back to center letting go of the hands we're going to bring right hand to our back and with our left hand we're going to take that shoulder that right shoulder and pulling it really close to our head Closing our eyes, chin to chest. Letting go of that arm, both arms. And now we're going to do the same. And going to the other side, hand comes to the back of my shoulder, elbow goes up, and I grab that elbow with the opposite hand, chin to chest, eyes closed. Breathing deeply. Slowly letting go of both arms. They come close to the heart in Anjali Mudra. Closing our eyes, we're going to set a little intention, make a little prayer, whatever feels good. Slowly then go off the arms, the hands. Going to make sure again that the feet are right underneath the hip points. Hands come up and over and then back to center, center of the heart. And from here, we're going to do a little fourfold, letting the head fall heavy, bending the knees as much as we need. We're going to do a little yes, a little no with our head. From here, arms come up and over, hands intertwine. Slowly letting the, those hands fall all the way down. And I'm going to grab opposite hand to opposite elbow. And the head wants to go in between the elbows, a little frame. And we're going to go to one side, come back to center, and then the other side. We're going to do this one more time, center. And now I'm going to... Go with the opposite hand on the opposite elbow so the hand has stayed up. Now it's going to go down. And we're going to go to one side, center, and opposite side. Letting go. Slowly letting those hands fall. Heavy and the chin comes to chest. Slowly rolling all the way up. Head is the last thing to come up. From here, we're going to separate our feet wide, making sure that our toes are pointing to the outsides. And from here, hands go all the way up and over. Hips wants to go down. And from here, our torso is going to go to the right side. Slowly coming back to center. And now we're going to go to the other side with our torso. Coming back to center. Hands go all the way to my hips. And from here, torso goes all the way towards the floor. Head goes down as well. If I can, if this is comfortable, I can let go of the arms that go all the way 
to the floor, they fall heavy. And if this is not accessible to me, hands can stay on my hips. Slowly, hands come back to the hips and rolling all the way up. Head is the last thing to come up. Nice. Now heel toe, heel toe, all the way back to center with the legs. And from here, we're gonna look for one point in front of us. Left leg wants to come on top of the right leg. And now my left arm is going to come and twist over that right arm. My hips are going down. My arms are going up in this eagle pose. Slowly letting go of the hands. Slowly letting go of the legs. And I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. First looking at that point right in front of me. And then right leg comes up on top of the left leg. And I'm going to bind the hands as well. Eagle pose. I keep on looking at that point in front of me so I don't fall. Slowly coming all the way back up and letting go of my legs and my arms. From here, I'm going to grab that left shoulder with my right hand, feeling the stretch, closing our eyes. Slowly letting go of the arms, doing the same on the opposite arm, grabbing my shoulder with my left hand, closing my eyes, taking deep breaths, and slowly letting go of those arms. We're going to go very slowly down to the floor. We're going to do child's pose. So knees come to the ground, sitting on our heels, and our head comes to the ground, bringing the hands all the way back. From here, all of my fingers want to come together, like if they were a closed lotus. And then our wrist is going to look to the front, Feeling that stretch on my arms, on my hands, letting go, breathing slowly and deeply in this child's pose. Slowly letting go of the hands that come in front of our knees, coming all the way back up slowly. And I'm going to look forward. From here, arms go all the way far away from my body. Tips of the toes come down and I'm going to go to downward dog. Feeling the stretch in this pose. And slowly I'm going to walk my dog. One knee comes close to the chest and then the other. And slowly one leg comes on top of the other all the way. I walk all the way to the front of the mat, coming back to that forward fold. And slowly from here, coming all the way back up. From here, our hip is going to look towards the front. And we're going to move that torso one way, then the other. Swinging it, letting go of the arms, closing my eyes, feeling all of the energy that I just moved, and slowly coming back to center with the torso. We're going to come back down into a seated position. (sighs) 
left hand comes to our chest, right hand comes to the belly, deep breath in, and a long breath out, feeling grateful for this moment that I took to take care of myself, hands come back to center in Anjali Mudra, Namaste, thank you so much for staying with me in this beautiful practice. See you next time. Have a good one. If you've liked this video, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up.